For those of you that know me, you know that I love weird things. Things that bend my brain. And inside this giant melon on top of Ouija, inside this giant melon on top of my head, there is supposedly a very large brain full of damage and strangeness. So one film that really does fit right in there is 2021's... Yes, I'm actually reviewing a film from 2021, finally. Attack of the Giant Blurry Finger. Before I get into that, let me remind you all that for every thousand subscribers I get, I purchase one of these bracelets from the company 4Ocean, and 4Ocean will of course pull a pound of trash out of the big blue for me, so if you could, subscribe to this video if you haven't already. Comment on this video, like this video, and share it with your friends. You will be helping not only me, but the planet. I'm serious. Not subscribing to this video kind of makes you a bad person. Anyway, Attack of the Giant Blurry Finger is, well, for one thing, it's kind of pornographic. I've got to start there, but the story, it's very much a backyard film. It is right at that line between amateur and independent. And the difference between an amateur film and an independent film is that an independent film, everything is there for a reason, and the quality of the film is part of the charm. And an amateur film is, we want to make a movie, we don't have the budget, but we're going to do it anyway. It's one of those things. So, with this, I mean, the concept is very simple, that there's an alien life form that looks like a giant blurry finger, played by uh, Cody Clark, his finger. And there is uh, a person named Cleo, played by Cleo Palatier. And figure comes down and they boogie and have a relationship. Okay. So, again, most of the film, the woman is doing sexual things while being covered up slash pleasured by the giant finger. And there is, you get, you see everything in this film. You do. There is a scene where you do. So, and she is kind of a wonderfully curvy girl. I mean, she's not a Hollywood type attractive woman. She's a wonderfully curvy real girl, which is a far more interesting body for me to look at personally. But the, the shots in this are dark. So from a filming standpoint, you know, it looks like it was filmed on a phone. I think it was filmed on it or with a camcorder, maybe. It's not the highest quality of film in the world. You can't put this on IMAX. But it doesn't need to be that. This is a two people got together and proved that anybody can make a movie, even with the most ridiculous premise in the world. Now, what is this movie saying? It should probably be noted... <laughs> that I think they just put the stuff in there to, you know, be in there. But if you want to find a deeper meaning, and you could find a deeper meaning in anything if you really look, but what you have here is a comment on... Is it an airplane or a helicopter? At two in the morning. Anyway, it's a comment on essentially masturbation. It's an airplane. Yeah. Yeah, it's an airplane. So what's what's happened is this woman has found an airplane. This woman has found, you know, pleasure in her finger. Which is kind of an icky topic, I guess. But, you know, hey, it's... Well, I mean, look, you know, you know when you were, like, 13 and, and, and you had that first experience and it was like... Oh my god, this is the most wonderful experience in the world! And then, you know, for the rest of your life, it kind of 
or for the rest of the maybe the next ten years of your life, maybe, it gnaws at you. It's that it's, it's always just there in the back of your mind. You're thinking of sex. Generally, somehow related to that first experience, whatever that was for you, but you know, that's what you're thinking of, okay? So this chick, her first experience was with her middle finger was with her finger and or with a giant blurry alien finger and she has these points where it, it just you know it gnaws at her she's just she's got that craving she's got that animal energy and she it, it's kind of interrupting her life you know it's very you never see other people in this movie but it's very very solitary sort of a situation but it's just it just eats at her it eats you up inside like the uh the, was it a Red Hot Chili Pepper song? Anyway, so... And then there's points of... Of rejection... And acceptance... And... Kind of a mock having her first period with ketchup. It's a weird movie. And I mean, again... For those of us who are adults and love weird movies... This movie is a must-watch. I have to admit that. It, it is definitively so strange and so um, unique that we should all have this experience. It's not like, you know... I forget the name, but there's some movie that the Marines keep watching that it's just so upsetting that that no one should really watch it, but the Marines watch it because they're Marines. It's one of those movies that may upset you, it may tease you, but, I mean, I think it's just, it's right up there. It's one of those, you know, I think you're only going to watch this movie once in your life. I don't know if I'd watch it a second time, but I know, I, I think everyone that can handle really dirty movies should watch this. But, of course, again, as there's always somebody who shouldn't watch a movie, if you're the kind of person that is bothered by nudity, sexuality, and personal discovery, then you, you definitely want to shy away from this. But for the rest of us, yeah, you know? Definitely an art house film. Definitely a must-watch. But that's just my opinion. I'd love to hear yours down in the comments below. I'm Richard. Oh, greetings, humanity. Did you know that Richard, the man in this video, will spend his own money to remove trash from the ocean for every thousand subscribers he gets once he is monetized? Yes. And you can, you can help. You can help by liking and, and commenting on this video and, of course, subscribing yourself. And you should do that. Or else I will come to your house and do unspeakable things to your cheese.